What's up? How is it going? I hope you are doing really good as I am. Right now I'm here in the, uh, the city of Bend, Oregon in the Old Mill District. And the topic that I want to talk today is about the importance of uh, accessible, uh, accessible uh, pathways, accessible tools for people to know around the city or any tourism destination. As you can see right now, I'm in a bridge that was made uh, to help people with uh, physical uh, discapacities. For example, here you can tell about this sign, the signage that it says it's not accessible. It's accessible for those people. But you can see that it also has uh, braille, braille language, which is very important for uh, people who can see to understand what they are going through. Uh, another another tool that it is common to use is uh, at the end of each uh, sidewalk they have short bumps at the end so that way people who cannot see when they are with the with their tool they uh, they know that the sidewalk is at its limit and, sh and so they should be aware of any uh, cars that could pass by so that is another interesting uh, tool that needs to be implemented in, if possible in every tourism destination that way it is more inclusive uh, to the whole community because if uh, the, the thing is that most destinations though I'm not capable of having those types of uh, equipments or tactics in which it really it kind of uh, marginalizes, marginalizes people with different capacities so it is best if you include those uh, techniques that can help them navigate through the tourism destination. So I just wanted to make it a short video again. Just it's very important about uh, to include these kinds of people. And I'll see you in the next time.